Yo, welcome back, guys. Um, tonight this we have a up. really, really great episode. Yes. You want to tell them what it is? So, well, are we going to, we're going, this is zero point, right? We're doing just zero point today? I thought we'd start off with Nexus 4. Yes, let's start off with Nexus. We're going to start from the beginning. So we're starting off with Fantastic Four, but it is actually a special bonus story, which is Nexus War, which is Fortnite's, technically Fortnite's first introduction to the comic world. Um, and I think this is really important. I feel like the comic book the comic books is really underrated and not we're not talking about value or anything like that we're talking about story we're talking under about red. yes it's like under, under red. red there you go and then the connection to the actual game and we'll get into that even more later on but uh yes this is the first comic book what are we gonna call this what are we gonna call it yeah, we'll um, figure that out too. This is raw, yeah. yeah. I get all the raw stuff, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I haven't this... thought about it. I was just like a summary because we're going to go more in depth than just like a summary. We're going to yes. talk about it. You, we're going to we're going to show um some snippets from it. Um, yeah. Yeah, like we want to say like what we think is going to happen to the yeah. collectibles and to the market and what you should be mm-hmm. paying attention to. And also, if you do, if you are interested in the comics. Or if you are interested in what's happening in the storyline in general, please start following this. This is all the comic book talk you can get for Fortnite, and let's get into it. All right. So when when I when I picked it up tonight, so right before this episode, I read it again. Yeah. And um, like I said, I think I want to I want to cut this out. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is. I don't know how or how yeah. to do that because I have extra copies, so I kind of want to cut mm-hmm. cut this out and get that graded at some point um so just a quick like synopsis um basically this has to do with thor and galactus Mm -hmm. and this is when uh i guess galactus is saying there's like some kind of winter coming yeah and something that i guess would be i don't know too much do you know anything about the galactus story no i I know he eats worlds yeah i honestly was gonna read this one but no i don't know too much about uh the galactus story uh wish i knew more for sure because it, it seems like like galactus is trying to prevent something yeah like he yeah. like so like thor is teaming up with him as like a means to an end mm-hmm. um so, so go ahead yeah uh not to cut you off so this was did you read the did you actually read the comic no i did i just skipped straight to the next okay War. i don't think the so comic's I, related is it well no it's not related yeah, but so. it was um there was five worlds in this comic that they were traveling to. Oh, there was five really? worlds. Yeah, and pretty much what happened is they noticed this one. They noticed the crack. So that's pretty okay. much. Well, no, I know yeah. the. Are you talking about in the main comic? There were there the yeah. Fantastic Four were in five different worlds. No, this is in actually Thor's. So Thor actually uh, is Thor number four. Mm-hmm. Thor number four. So outside of this comic is actually oh, okay. Thor number four, and that's where it kind of connects. But then oh, they so separate it. You're not talking story. about the comic that that's in like, this one. You're talking about Thor number four that's connected. To yeah, it. yeah, and it kind of this is where the connect kinds of happens. But yeah, so yeah, so, yeah, we can go from there. Yeah, so I, I was reading it, and they were talking about the five worlds, and I yeah. guess Galactus is going to eat all five of them in order mm-hmm. to get the power enough to stop it. Right. Then they see the crack. And he literally says, they are the power infinite. Yeah. Which he said, mm-hmm. if I can do that, I can stop. I can stop anything. I can do anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, and then Thor was like, wait, no, that wasn't the deal, basically. Yeah. And so he starts to he starts to go for it. And um, I was just stuck on that. I was like, they're saying the power is infinite. Yeah. Like he said, like, that is the biggest source of power he's seen. Mm-hmm. That's more than five worlds. That's yeah. what he needs, you know. So he he was drawn to it. I thought that was pretty epic. And like it's like he's like, if I get this, this is gonna be a game changer. Like if I'm able to obtain all of this, then I will have everything I need. So that was that was very very interesting on that aspect. Yeah, one hundred percent. So when we get to the next page, right? I have something mm-hmm. on this. So there is in the comic book world in the hobby, there is. A consistent argument between a cameo and a first appearance, right? Okay. Yep. Technically, a lot of people would have factored Bright Bomber, especially because Bright Bomber is on every page 
and technically so is Kit Bash. But Bright Bomber's on every page, and this would technically been been considered a cameo, but they can't talk. Yes, I, I thought this was so, going. So they can't talk. So I actually think this is Bright Bomber's first, first appearance, appearance, like yeah. true first appearance. No, I right? agree because I don't think she's just a cameo. It's like someone that you see off. Because yeah. when you see a cameo, they're not part of the story, right? Exactly. She's right. definitely part of the story because he refers she's, to her. He chases yep. her. And she actually tries to warn him. Yep. And But she just can't talk. She just can't talk. And it's like, and so that I think makes this even more interesting because I think originally we just grouped it all up. Like, so for instance, like technically, I guess you can say all of this is all of their first appearance, but mm-hmm. I would technically say that this is Bright Bomber's legit first appearance. And this could possibly be everyone else's. No, nah, I mean, yeah, everybody's pretty much in this page, but it seems like the focus was Bright Bomber. What do you yeah, feel about that? Yeah, 100%. I mean, they knock out Peely. Is this a yeah. Peely first appearance or a cameo? I'm not too sure. He doesn't really have that much. I would say cameo, right? I would think so, too. I think all the... Yeah. Like Raven, uh, Lynx. Lynx. I they're think... just fighting them. The only one who's think, like really yeah. a part of it, and the only one he really refers to, is Bright Bomber. Right. Like, so that, like, you know, uh, obviously on the first page, her expression in the top right column, and then... You know, obviously, uh, on the next page, then she's like yelling, but it's not like she's, like anything's coming you know, out. Yeah, yeah, nothing's coming out. So this is definitely her first appearance, and um, and Bright this Bomber is the, super important. This she's is the important. first. This is the first Fortnite yes character to appear in any comic. Any is comic. Bright Bomber? Is Bright Bomber? She was the first Fortnite character to appear, and she seems. You see, the thing is like. That we talk about Bright, Bright Bomber a lot in this aspect. We've talked about her more comic wise than we've ever have like market wise, right? When it mm-hmm. comes to the cards. Uh, but the thing that's unique about Bright Bomber is that she always seems the most comfortable on the island. She like does. always. Yeah. She always seems the most comfortable. She's always the greeter. Like, you know, when Drift came into the world, Bright Bomber is always there. So that's interesting. I wonder if they'll ever go back to that and kind of. You know. I mean, I'm sure they'll explain it at some point. And like, yeah. even here, she's, if you look, she's um in the grass with the flowers and the butterflies. Yeah. She's chilling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so like, what, some of the other things I wanted to point out was like, I was really trying to pay attention to like the island. Mm-hmm. And so like in black and white letters is when uh, Thor first appears on the top left, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it says the island close to zero. Close to zero. Mm-hmm. Now, there's a card. There's a there's a skin mm-hmm. whose name is Zero. Mm-hmm. Is that who they're referring to? Or are they referring to the Zero Point? Or are I, they referring when, to Zero Reality? When I read it, I immediately thought Zero Point or Zero Reality. That yeah, was my too. first. You know, it, but it. Who knows? It could be. Because they don't it refer to the Zero Point. It's open ended. Yeah, I mean, but there's a period close to zero. It definitely didn't say zero point for sure. You're right. It did just say zero. So I, I was looking at that. I was like, that's interesting. I don't know what they're saying in there. They're saying something. I just don't know what it is. Um, and so Thor being a god, he feels his power is being drained. Well, mm-hmm. it says his memory. Yeah. And so like, I'm one of the things I want to say. Do you lose your powers on the island? Yes. Slowly you lose it's but that's now that's that's the question because like it seemed like like some characters lose Batman, all their powers. Yep. Yep. But Batman doesn't like, I mean like supernatural pow- powers. Right. Well no, that's what I was saying is like Batman uh kinda insinuated that you could lose your supernatural powers. Not talking about him. Oh, that was in a, that know, was in a future comic. Yeah, 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 in a future comic, you know, which just is a good reference. But um but here but it seems for here it looks like yeah. he still has his power. Mm-hmm. Um but I do believe he like I guess it's slowly escaping him probably. Yeah, like it seems like it's you know what? Matter of fact, it seems like this is the first time he's m- more so like realizing it. 
like because i guess you have to have that moment to test you know like if mm -hmm. you still have your power or your memory in that case but yeah it seems like it's like maybe like a a it's couple minutes it's taking longer <laughs> to affect thor as since he's a god exactly that's, that's kind of what i was thinking exactly so it's different for everybody almost yeah because i think there's lots of characters we're going to find out in future comics that have powers that yeah. in game never did right so um oh another one i noticed was the ravens Mm -hmm. because back in the game there was no ravens but now thor comes with the two ravens and now we see mm -hmm. ravens all the time holding all weapons time. and stuff right almost like he brought that into the well technically it lines up where he brought that into the world with him almost yeah you know yeah 100%. so that's this and then it's what i always love about this that's unique about fortnite is the fortnite comics is them trying to process how crazy these people are on this island you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, it really takes a moment where they're like, all right, I guess we got to do this. Yeah. Cause you know? uh, Thor, he's like, I have no quarrel with you, you people. Yeah. And yeah. he has like the question mark because he sees Kit Bash, which is yeah. a cat controlling a motorbike yeah. robot. Yeah. Which I'm surprised, which is the second Fortnite character we see is Kit Bash, which is kind of it's interesting. Kit Bash. Yeah. And I won't lie, the first time I read that it was processing it, I definitely overlooked the fact that he was one of the first two we see yeah. in the comics, you know? Isn't that crazy? Uh, and of course, you see Jonesy and then Peely. And, but these like are all OG the, like, like this, like this OG <laughs> Jonesy is like a, this like we would say is a um, cameo. Yeah, Because that's, sure. that's all we see of him. And I like how they chose OG Jonesy for the first cameo of him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it really... Because at this point in time, he still works for the I.O. And right. so if you look here, I was looking at the the scene when like he's facing Raven, mm -hmm. Jonesy, Lynx, and Peely. Yeah. And they look more ready to fight mm -hmm. than Bright Bomber was. Yes. And Kit Bash. Yes. And so it yes. almost makes me believe that they're part of the I.O. and they know mm -hmm. he's not supposed to be there. Because mm -hmm. another thing is, they didn't invite Thor. No, he most of the, entered. Most of the people on the Fortnite island are there because mm -hmm. the Imagine Order put them there. Right. Thor right. was not that, that way. That's very true. That's a major point. That is. That is. That's very true. So he they could have looked at him as like an intruder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, this is good. This is like, and, so and you if, know, like if you guys didn't read the rest of the comic, I can just summarize it really quickly. Is so once Thor hits the ground, he starts fighting people, but then he remembers because he sees Galactus in the sky, so yeah. he remembers why he's there, mm -hmm. and then uh, his sister, who can see through the through the ravens and through the raven's yeah. eyes, she ascends uh, using the Rainbow Bridge. Um, yep. She sends all the Marvel characters, Wolverine, yeah. Iron Man, Storm, mm -hmm. so that they can work together to fight Galactus off. Which is which and is this... pretty epic. That's that's it. That's kind of like how it ends. It yeah. says to be continued and in season four. Season four, which is which is amazing. That is having this uh, this bounce back effect, and we'll talk about this m more even in other videos. But Fortnite is this is what makes Fortnite unique that yep. you're not you're not waiting one of the for many a things. movie yes you're not waiting for a movie technically for this to continue in a cinematic way it's like a bounce immediate bounce back effect that's happening and then also you can get movies in the future but this is like this entry was so minute but it, it told us a lot especially back then yeah 100 percent. yeah i mean it was a very short comic and we got so much out of it and yeah. i don't know if they planned at this point to do more or not mm -hmm. but um it definitely had to have been a catalyst for it yeah this was it was almost like donald mustard like you said you brought it up before but it was almost like donald mustard was on the outside of this mm -hmm. and not like outside like he had no part in it but it seems like it was he something didn't... he was talking about but he, he didn't, didn't have, have any... full control over yeah it. full control exactly and you can see by because like the writer was different um mm -hmm. there's no mention of donald mustard at all and if you look at all yeah. the other comics he's heavily printed on there um this is developed in partnership with epic games and that's it mm -hmm. um 
Like even like the they, editor. Yeah. I'm just looking through here. Even the Marvel, it looks like the Marvel Games team had a lot to do mm -hmm. with it. Um, I mean, all this has changed because now we have a designated writer, Christos Gage. Yes. He's written yes. the Foundation, the Zero Point, and the Zero War. Mm -hmm. So this was very different. This was definitely the start of it, and, but, but which, very, very interesting. Which makes it so unique because Crystal Gage, uh, being the writer and him falling in love with the Fortnite lore, and mm -hmm. then you know, not, they like he said in an article that their chemistry has finally hit its stride, and I think that's that's gonna make f great for Zero War. And it has Zero War has to be. Let's just put that out there. Zero War. Okay, well, this is not a Zero War episode, but either yeah, way, yeah, we'll leave it. Yes, yeah, we'll go leave out it. and we'll get the Zero there. War. Read yes. the comics if you haven't read Zero Point, yes. the Nexus yes. War. Mm -hmm. Go read them before Zero War. Yes, it's all gonna Catch be connected. Up. Definitely Catch the up. foundation. That one. I yes. feel like the foundation is going to be really important. The foundation is super important. And uh, this bounce back between Marvel, DC, Marvel is it, turned out to be a little bit of a masterpiece, in my opinion. This yeah, is for, this is beautiful. Fortnite's what's important. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. It's not just, yeah. it doesn't matter if it's Marvel, DC, you have to follow the right. Fortnite storyline. Yes. I, th I think we should end it there before we go too crazy. For sure. For Catch sure. our next video, guys, on zero point yes. number one. Please, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, Drop them down in the comment section below. Uh, let us know what you like about the comics, all that type of stuff, and we'll see you next episode.